For some reason, ants in nature find the shortest way between their nest and their food, as if they already knew where exactly the food is, and they always tend to choose shorter distances. Even though a single ant is not particularly smart, and has no abilities to see the structure of its surrounding environment, Ants together in a group manage to overcome obstacles with some small interactions and easily find the optimal way to the food. You will also see how ants inspired us to create one of the most popular algorithms for discrete problem optimization. Here on this channel you can find interesting science videos, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss any video. When an ant colony starts to search for new food, the movement of the ants looks disorganized and random. But after a while, the ants start to move towards the direction where other ants have already found some food. It was obvious for scientists that ants somehow communicate, but they were curious how the communication actually takes place. After a series of experiments, they came to the conclusion that ants communicate indirectly using chemical substances called pheromones. Ants can produce different types of pheromones, leaving so specific signals which other ants are able to understand. For example, they leave a specific pheromone trace when they move from the food to the nest. With the desire to fully understand why ants choose the shortest path, researchers constructed a specific experiment using a two-way bridge, which was placed between the ant nest and the food. In the first part of the experiment, both sides of the bridge had the exact same length. When the experiment started, around half of the ants crossed the bridge on the left side and the other half on the right side. But how the time passed, more and more ants were moving just on one of the two sides. And after a little more time, all of them ended up on this side, while the other side was empty. This experiment was repeated multiple times, and it showed that the ants always choose one of the two sides, the left or the right side, with the same probability. In the second part of the experiment, the results were completely different. This time, one side of the bridge was two times longer than the other side. Again at the beginning, half of the ants crossed the bridge on the shorter side, while the other half was moving on the longer side. But with time, more and more ants preferred the shorter side. And quickly afterwards, all ants moved on this side. They repeated this part of the experiment several times, with the result that the ants always preferred the shorter distance. We can explain these results as follow. The ant leaves a pheromone trace on its way, which attracts other ants. This pheromone trace evaporates slowly and loses its intensity over time. When the ant returns, it leaves a second pheromone trace which increase the overall intensity of the trace. Ants that cross the bridge on the shorter side need less time, so a smaller amount of the pheromone had evaporated, which made the pheromone on the shorter side more intense, causing that this trace attracts more ants. Also with every additional ant following this way, the pheromone trace gets stronger, which attracts even more ants. Similar to this, Ants in the nature that find the food on the shortest path will have the most intense pheromone trace, which will quickly attract all other ants on this path. Those results have found an important place in the optimization theory. We can solve complex graph problems, like the traveling salesman or routing problems, using artificial computer ants that imitate real ones. The probability that an artificial ant choose a specific branch depends on the pheromone intensity of this branch in comparison with other ones. Different from real ants, they have some memory to remember the road and so get rid of potential loops. Also, they leave the pheromone trace just when returning, 
which reduces the probability of forming loops. Those graph problems are often impossible to solve with modern computers, even for simple graphs by testing out all possible routes, because the number of combinations quickly explodes. But our ant colony can find a good solution in a relatively short time. This approach is known as ant colony optimization. The next time when you see how ants follow an invisible line, you will know why. Please support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing. See you next time.